Top Spotlight, brought to you by Dragon's Lair Comics and Fantasy. Hey everybody, I'm Adam Hare from Bell Souls with... Drake from Dragon's Lair Comics and Fantasy. And we're back with another Tabletop Spotlight. Drake, what is this book today, man? This is the new Space Marines Codex for... Angels of Death, which is basically all the miscellaneous smaller chapters like Iron Hand, Salamanders, the guys who don't really get their full like full right. Space Wolves treatment. <laughs> they should though. Mm -hmm. Anyway, this is the new the, the Codex supplement for all those books. So if you play regular Space Marines, regular, uh, you can get this book and you'll have a bunch of extra stuff, formations, new rules, relics, world of trade, just a ton of yeah. cool stuff. Throw in some specialists. Yeah, for all of your Space Marines. So let's take a look inside the new supplement for the Angels of Death. All right, man. I'm pretty excited about this one. This is this is the Angels of Death Codex up on. I mean, there's a ton of cool stuff in here. Yeah. You ready to do this? Sure. I have to dive on in. Peel back the covers. <laughs> First off, it's a soft back. I want to point that out. Pretty. Oh, we didn't look at the back real fast. There's the back of the book. Soft back, obviously. Ultramarines. Ultramarines. It's more than just ultramarines, though. There's a ton oh, of. Oh, for sure. Ton of stuff in this book. So. Uh, first off, we have the uh, index. I mean, it's all the different strike forces. So some of these are actually reprints, right? From the previous supplements, but still compiled together, yeah, all in the same book now, in an easy to read format with, yeah, yeah, convenience, convenience. You don't yeah, have to exactly. commit, and you can you have it all in one place. So if you feel like playing White Scars one day, you can. If you feel like playing Raven Guard the next, you can't. So you've got yeah. all the rules right there. <laughs> anyway, all the different strike forces, uh, all the different. Uh, Space Marine Forces, there's actually a couple of different formations in here, a couple of more formations, as I should say, and some new units for the uh, Betrayal Like Health guys, which we saw earlier. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then um, and then the, the new mm. Psychic Librarian like abilities, the new mm. four new, new schools. Thank you, disciplines. And then uh, some new uh, Rights of War, which are basically mission yeah. scenarios, set deployments and stuff like that. Yeah, that which, I, which I could see shook up some deployments. So they're taking a little bit of a cue from the Age of Sigmar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're doing this, kind of making it a little bit more interesting than, okay, this is how you set objectives. Right, instead of across the table all the time, you know, one side versus the other, it's like, hey, here's a circle scenario. So we'll get into all that stuff. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we'll just flip through the book uh, really quick. I don't want to spoil too much because obviously there's a bunch of cool artwork. Uh, mm -hmm. Each one of the each one of the chapters in this book uh, has the force organization for that chapter, which is mm -hmm. pretty cool. So here's the yeah. that was the Ultramarines white scars right here, and even some like fluffy hierarchy stuff. Yeah, which is really cool. Like, you the actual force work. <laughs> right, you don't actually get to see a lot of this stuff outside of the the supplements, but right. this is a great supplement because it's got all of them in one spot. So obviously white scars, we've got Imperial fists, uh, we've got their hierarchy and then of course there uh there are other two chapters that derive from the imperial fist the black templar and the crimson fist yeah secondary so, chapters. yep second founding guys so we have the uh signs which is iron hands so there's their um their chapter structure we have salamanders mm -hmm. and just keep going i mean <laughs> literally yeah it's raven just guard it's burning just, through all of them yeah, one at a time i'm trying to go pretty quick because like look, look at that it's just, yeah there's a lot to cover so yeah just kind of keep turning yeah and then it's just the artwork's really great in here uh, these are the new ones, or old ones, depending on how you want Returning? <laughs> Returning, yeah. So a couple of things I'm going to call out real quick. There's the Terminator Captain from the Betrayal at Kalth set. Mm -hmm. We've got the Cataphractus Terminators, again from Betrayal at Kalth. With their new and improved Terminator arm. <laughs> right, or old and relic. Better? I don't know. <laughs> it was better technology? Well, I don't know. And then we have the Contempt of Dread, which, which is pretty awesome, I think. The Contempt, Contempt of Dread, just in-game. Pretty awesome, so especially with the front armor 13. <laughs> yeah, he's pretty great. Uh, one of the things I do want to call out about the Cataphractic Armor, if you haven't played them on the tabletop, I've played a lot of Heresy games, so you may not know this if you don't play 30k, but they actually have a four up invulnerable instead of a five up invulnerable save. So kind of kind of different. They are slow and purposeful, so they're a little like, bit slower. They're terminators, but they're terminators. They're so bulky, yeah. deep strike. Yeah, same stuff. All the stuff. Yeah, uh, the captain, however, actually has a four up invulnerable that re-rolls any rolls of a one. So, because he has a, a iron halo as well, so to represent that, it's part of the rules here. So, just wanted to call that out. Thought it was a neat thing. Neat if you're on the receiving, not on the receiving end? I don't know. <laughs> and then, if yeah. it's yours. If it's your Terminator <laughs> Captain, it's great. If it's somebody else's, it's a pain in the butt. It's annoying. <laughs> uh, so then, uh, moving on from there, we've got the White Scars formations, and then Raven Guard formations. Yep. And these are all the formations that we saw in the Cow Union, I believe, supplements and some of the other ones. Um, we also have the Skyhammer Annihilation, which I think this was a web store, uh, uh, I guess not exclusive anymore, but you had Formally. to buy it with the Skyhammer formation that was on the web store. Right. Um, 
all the all that good stuff. We've got some the uh, Raptor Wing here again. That's more Raven Guard. Uh, yep, there's that was from that campaign supplement. And keep on going here. Again, more stuff to go through. So they really are just bringing everything together. Yeah, right? just tying everything together in one book. We've got the other supplements had their warlord traits and then chapter specific relics. So chapter specific, this is white scars. Obviously. This is all of those again over the next couple of pages. Yep, white scars here. Same, bring it back. Yeah. Uh, we've got the imperial fist. Keep going. Yeah. So there's the imperial fist warlord traits uh, and all of their chapter specific relics. And again, that goes. They also have crimson fist and black templar warlord traits. Because they are slightly because they are going to be slightly different. Yeah. We'll show regular Divergent chapter stuff. They've got all that stuff. Uh, yeah, this is Iron Hands, so yeah. Warlord Traits, Gifts of the Gorgon, the Gorgon Chain, again, that was a really popular relic, so that's in this book too. I think there's some minor tweaks and differences if you have the previous publications. Um, I'm obviously, we're not going to go over each one of those individually, but you may want to check. <laughs> so yeah, they may be updated. There's Salamanders, which is really cool. And more so, of their stuff. More of their stuff, their, their Warlord Traits and Relics, and then so Pedro. Yep. Yeah. Pretty awesome artwork, again, all the way through. They, they take a lot of pictures with the, the actual models. Um, and then Raven Guard, same deal with them. So, I'm gonna hold that one for me, thanks. Just keep going. Imperial Fist, we're not gonna stop there. New disciplines. These are the new disciplines. I wanna back up just one page. So, the new Psychanica Cy Libraries. I can't read it upside down, fake Latin. Psychanica Libraries. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, but we have four new schools. The Libraries, the Technomancy, Fulmination and geokinesis. Geokinesis? Yeah. yeah. Rock movement. Rock movement, yeah. They're earthbenders. <laughs> Basically. Somebody watched The Last Airbender, I think, and got inspired. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that in Fulmination? Yeah. Yeah, man, I think you're right. Anyway, uh, <laughs> libraries, disciplines, these are pretty cool. Uh, the big one on here, Veil of Time. Everybody's going to be rolling on this chart now because Veil of Time is if the Psyker's in a unit, it's a blessing and they can reroll all failed saving throws. The entire unit. The whole unit. Jesus. Yeah, basically... Any save? Yeah, it's it's saving throws. Christ. So his, <laughs> your armor saves count, So and it's it's it does say reroll. This, this unit can reroll all failed saving throws. So I believe that's cover saves and vulnerable saves, armor saves, saving throws. You know, all it's, it's fortune. It's fortune. So it does cost two warp charges, mm -hmm. which it should Order. cost like 10 for space marines or whatever. <laughs> Yeah, Moving on over there, Technomancy's, right. Technomancy's new. It's got some cool ones too. Uh, one of my friends wanted to point this one out. The was it Fulmination? Yes. Yeah. Where's the Electro Displacement? Thank you for saying that one. Electro Displacement. This is the one that lets you target a friendly unit. It's a blessing. Uh, you target a unit and you can swap sp spots with them basically. Mm. So I'm not gonna read the full description here because you should totally buy this book and check it out. But it's it's kind of dirty. Um, yeah. Just being able to swap. You that's know. like that's like borderline zinchi. It it could change some stuff. <laughs> yeah, it'll change the game probably. <laughs> so the last section that we want to get into is the ultra war stuff. We'll go through this one really quick because uh, I know we're running a little long yeah, here. A few new These are just new missions, and they they have some new deployment rules. They're actually pretty cool. I think the next one half cool. table deployment zone. Yeah. So There's it's special scenarios, yeah, and this set one's in the center. set in the center, and then this one Surrounded. is this is the surround one. These are always fun for me because yeah. you never know obviously which direction stuff's coming from, so it always yeah, it's always fun to, to deploy. You know, circle the wagon style. But there's a couple of missions. I think it's five new missions. This is four. Five, six, and I, six. Okay, yeah. so six new missions. I thought I know I saw at least five, uh, but yeah, they're all new missions, new cool stuff to go check out and play. Just change the way you play the game. I think it's always nice to test have your options. tactics. Yeah, so go One check it out. Spread against some nids. That's right. Back in the book again. But that's pretty much it. Why don't we hop out really quick for a recap? Well, that was the Codex Supplement Angels of Death again for Space Marines uh, from G from GW. Really great book. It's it's great because it's condensed all of those extra supplements that came out into one book, one easy to read, you know, it's easy to find. Nice format. compilation. Really convenient. Really considerate of them to pull this kind of thing. Yeah, and it's got some some extra rules in there. The big stuff again: new psychic powers, yeah, four new disciplines, total of yeah. twenty eight powers, I believe. The formations. The extra formations in there. The the new units for betrayal at Kalf. Yeah, the Kalf. So that's pretty good. Pretty pretty huge stuff. 
It's in stores right now. You yep. can go check it out. Soft cover, $33. Whoa, 33 bucks. I think there's not a Space Marine player out there that shouldn't pick this up, really. Probably not. Yeah, if you're a Space Marine player, <laughs> or you know a Space Marine player, you're probably are gonna get this book at some point. Unless you have so. zero interest in playing any other chapter than what you're already rolling yeah. with. If you were playing your custom chapter, maybe you don't need this book. Or if you already have the White Scars yeah. supplement, and you're like, I don't need... I don't want to play no I salamanders. Need, I don't need yeah. no iron fists in my life. <laughs> but if you're even kind of curious, looking to see how they go, how it relates to the other guys, this worth, is the book for you. I mean, it. if you want to, if you have a couple of boxes of Betrayal at Kalth, or just a box really, and you have some Cataphractic Terminators, and you want to use them in your regular army too, this is the book for it. Yep, so, for sure. great, great supplement, great price point, 33 bucks. Love that it's softback too. Uh, just really good all around. So, yeah. Anything else? No, I think that's it. Cool. Well, I'm Adam Harry from Bella Souls. And I'm Drake from Dragons of Comics and Fantasy. And this has been another Tabletop Spotlight. Thanks again for watching. Tabletop Spotlight brought to you by Dragons Lair Comics and Fantasy. Thanks for watching.